scientists, this is it. We're almost done with lesson five. This is part four. And during this part of the lesson, we are going to look again at the question we're trying to answer through this whole unit, which is, why is the temperature of Christchurch, New Zealand colder during El Nino years? So for this part of the lesson, you're going to need something to write with, something to write on, and someone to talk to. Okay, let's, let's start this last part of the lesson by looking one more time at this graph that we've seen a couple times. What this graph is telling us is the average ocean surface temperature near Christchurch, New Zealand. And we can see two bars here. One is showing us the temperature of the ocean surface temperature on a normal year. And this other one is showing us the ocean surface temperature during an El Nino year. So let's, let's shrink this graph a little bit and let's take a look at these two sentences here. Since the ocean temperature is colder during El Nino years, would there be more energy or less energy transferring to the air? So if the ocean temperature is colder during El Nino years, then there's going to be less energy transferred during an El Nino year. Okay. So if less energy is transferred during an El Nino year, then let's see how we would fill this in. So this says, this will make the air temperature blank compared to a normal year. So if we see in the, the two graphs over here that the ocean temperature near Christchurch, New Zealand, is just much colder during an El Nino year an El Nino year. And so less energy will transfer to the air from the ocean. This is definitely going to make the air temperature decrease during an El Nino year. We already knew that the air temperature was colder during El Nino. We already knew that the ocean temperature was colder during an El Nino. But now, from all of the evidence that you've collected today, you can explain that because the ocean temperature is colder, the air temperature is going to be colder as well because some of that energy from the air will have to transfer to that colder ocean current, making the air temperature drop down as well. Okay, so this is an exciting moment because I'm about to show to you a map. This map shows what the ocean currents look like in near New Zealand during a normal year. So if you look here, you can see that there are two major currents off the coast of New Zealand that travel past Christchurch. And we can see one of them starts at the equator, moves down past the east coast of Australia, and then wraps around, and then passes down around New Zealand. If you've ever seen Finding Nemo, then you might know a little about, about the East Australian Current, or the EAC, because the turtles like to, to ride that current, according to the movie. I can't say for sure if that's scientifically accurate, but you could do some research and find out. But this, this current that passes there originates at the equator. Okay, that's important. The second current also starts at the equator, where the water temperature is very, very warm and travels down past the coast. Okay, so let's fill these um, sentences in. During normal years, the ocean currents moving past the coast of Christchurch, New Zealand, start at the, did you say equator? If you said equator, then you're right. Give yourself a pat on the back. So let's look at the second sentence. The temperature of the ocean currents that move past the coast of Christchurch, New Zealand would be blank than the air in Christchurch, New Zealand. So these ocean currents that are coming down past um, Christchurch, New Zealand are coming from the equator. The water is warmer, so some energy from these currents will transfer to the air above Christchurch, New Zealand. This will make the... Let's read this one more time. The temperature of the ocean currents that move past the coast of Christchurch, New Zealand would be warmer than the air in Christchurch, New Zealand. So let's look at this last sentence. During normal years, the blank transfers energy to the blank. How would you fill that in? If the ocean is warmer, then the ocean will transfer energy to the air, making the air warmer during a normal year. Okay, scientists, we've done it. We've learned 
some new key concepts and let's review them because this is exciting. Okay, so this is the first new key concept today. Energy transfers from warmer substances to colder substances. We kind of already knew that, but this goes on. It says warmer currents transfer energy to cooler air and warmer air transfers energy to cooler currents. We've absolutely discovered this today as we have collected evidence, used, doing our experiment, as we've explored the sim, as we've discussed things together. This is exciting. The second new key concept that we've learned today is that when an ocean current comes from the equator, it brings warmer than expected water to the places it passes. And the water is warmer than the nearby air. Warm water, warmer than nearby air. When the ocean current comes from the pole, it brings colder than expected water to the places it passes, and the water is colder than the nearby air. This is cool. Okay, congratulations on these new key concepts. I'm going to give you one little challenge, something to do before we come back together to do lesson six. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about this. You can either discuss with a partner or you can um, just think on your own and write some thoughts down, but be ready to, to come with your ideas prepared before lesson six. Okay, what ideas do you, and if you have a partner and your partner have about why Christchurch, New Zealand's air temperature might be cooler during El Nino? We know what it's like during normal years now. We saw the, the pictures of the, the currents. What do you think might be happening during an El Nino year? It's absolutely okay if you're not sure, but try to use all the new words we've learned so far. I think as you use all those words, you might be able to develop your ideas. Okay, don't forget to do this before lesson six. I'll see you next time. Bye.